and welcome everybody. I'm Christian from Berlin. If you want to a more real full-on boogie woogie, I would uh, like to recommend you two of my tutorials where, the, where you can also learn with sheet music and a MIDI file. Um, one is the rolling boogie and the second one is the Swanee River boogie. Both are linked in the text box. So um, now let's go. I know you're hungry. So before we start with the boogie lesson, um, credit where credit is due, all these elements uh, you learned today are, have been played a million times, a well-known old school boogie element. But in this order, in this combination, they constitute the Hemi's boogie um, by what's this guy, uh, uh, Kavanaugh, Brett Kavanaugh, like uh, Dr. K. So credit goes to him for putting them in this catchy order. Let's go. It's this one. Let's have a look. It starts with the um, with the fifth and the octave, and then using the sixth, very boogie-like. Yeah, this, I've seen this a couple of times already. Then he's going to the octave just to reach out for these our beloved two thirds. Okay, one and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three okay so the um <clears throat> the, uh, of course this exists in many many variations and then you speed it up Now listen to this. Again. Of course, it ends on the on the minor seven because we're in F seven. Okay, one last time. Now, if you have a, have been a good student of mine, uh, you see, I always mention that. Uh, why is he playing this? The E here shouldn't that be um, uh, E flat? Yeah, but sometimes people just do it, just break the rules, and nobody is. Uh, since nobody's listening, nobody cares. <laughs> Everybody does it occasionally. You know, they're breaking the rules that in F7 you should not play an E, but if it's fast enough, it's just a passing sound and nobody cares. And, and now N3. So now we come to the uh, second bit, the harder bit. We played this, um, then go to F, one and two and uh, so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Uh, this bit we um, will do in a couple of slices. I take pride a little bit, let me please, um, for, you know, sh actually being more on the teaching side, 
making you play this stuff and not just like quickly showing and yeah thanks bye we start here uh, it's a uh, one and two and so we have oh, just thirds here one and two and and then comes the tough bit okay one and two and three and four and one and two so what what do we have here one and two and three and three and three and three and and this i call sometimes the butterfly technique because it's got to be uh, played light as a butterfly um it we it consists of two uh, of three sixteenth triplets uh, uh quickly connected to the g so please um do the following with me you just play these as light from the wrist as possible because otherwise you will just cr have a car crash here it will sound like this or you will not be able to lock play tightly and i promise you there will be the flow the uh, flow will be gone and uh, uh why can why mustn't it be gone because we played another time like It, we repeat the whole thing twice. So you got to stay in the flow and light. Don't dig too deep. So basically we have the, this thing here and here with a connection point here. Now again, this one. Um, uh, one and two and three and. This is, the, uh, this is uh, your anchor. Here you got to be tight. So practice this butterfly. Very light with the, from the wrist. And then stay light. And uh, your thumb is already on the way to the G when you play this because students love to play this. They think, ah, it's going up and then uh, the flow is already gone because the whole motion is going down. Yeah. This just plays this like an embellishment, like a little trill, you know? And, the, uh, and then connect the uh, thumb fast to this here. The thumb, think already of the thumb when you play this. That's the trick. It's, all, it's a mental thing. We are all a little bit mental, aren't we? So here. Practice this, the butterfly, and then and make sure you think of the thumb already. Otherwise, it sounds like, and you're too late. Because we got to be, you know, you got to uh, do the switch fast. Yeah. So do this with me a couple of times. It's just, just the same. So you just learn this once. Connection point and you, then you're all set. Okay. One and two and three and four and one and, and we have the connection point. One, uh, one and two and. And here we are just where we were like before. From here, you know, here and here. Once you're here, it's repeating. One and two and three and four and one and two and repeating. Three and four and one and two and three, four. Again, come on, be with me, people. One, actually this one, uh, it sounds a little bit um, clumsier when you, when you play it slow, like one and two, one, and one and two and three it's harder when you play it slow it, it gains flow when you then speed up but you first got to make sure that these are that you're tight here okay one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, ah, sorry, one, one and two and three and four and 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 one and two and two. Like in um, in his Hemi's boogie, he's playing the last bit. He, play, he plays. He adds just a. Another, he plays it like this. Um, ba, ba, ba. Yeah. 
just add, you know, two thirds in the end. But this is also fine. But if you perfectionist, do this. One, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. And then you speed it up step by step. And then you all said you have your full chorus now. Isn't that marvelous? Again, uh, also. You get the oversetting in a snapping way. Yeah. Yeah. You can also do this, make this an exercise. Again. Did I make you play it? Say thank you, leave me a like, subscribe. There's so many, so many great tutorials on my channel, hundreds of videos. Um, the most productive piano channel on YouTube. You can check it. It's, uh, I think, almost 400 videos now, all for free. Um, see you next time. I hope uh, you celebrate a little success playing this one. Bye. Thanks for watching.